What's going on, my fellow miners? Welcome back. So one of the things that we do here or that we've done here is talk about the importance of keeping your graphics cards alive. Currently, with the situation going on where it's very difficult to get your hands on a new graphics card, particularly the 3000 series, uh, this is a 3060 version 2 uh, that I have in my hands. This is um, a card that I've had for a couple months now. And so, like I said, something we've discussed before is the importance of keeping your graphics cards alive. And uh, doing so with proper tuning will go a long way for you when it, goes to, when it comes to mining. So when I say proper tuning, we're talking about uh, limiting your power, uh, doing your, overclo or your overclocks properly, things of that nature. On top of that, I've also done a video talking about how uh, you should, especially if you're buying an older card or a used card, reapply thermals on it. So new thermal pads, new thermal paste, things of that nature. What we're going to do today is we are going to take this apart. Um, give a bit of a backstory as to why this card runs hot. It runs hotter than it should be. It's uh, at 100% fan speed. It's running 62C. It should not be that way. My um, my 1080, for example, my 1080, it'll run about 48C at 50 to 60% uh, fan speed, right? So why is it that my 30, my, my 1080 will run much cooler, but then my 3060, which is a new card, is running hotter? If I, if I put the fan speed at the same fan speed I have the 1080, then it'll heat up to close to 70, uh, 72 to 75, something like that. It gets hot. And those of you guys who are like, oh, but it's in, it's because it's in your case. The case will be open and it's still running hot. So even with proper airflow, proper ventilation, doesn't matter. It still runs hot. We're going to take this card apart and I'm going to see what's going on here. Uh, fair warning, this will probably void my warranty. Although... I don't know if they moved the warranty stickers on it because the warranty stickers up here and usually on the cards, they'll put a warranty sticker on one of the screws, but maybe they're not doing that anymore because they want people to take care of their cards. I don't know, but we're going to take this bad boy apart and find out. Um, here's uh, here's something else that I've noticed. The cooler is, I mean, obviously the cooler on this is smaller than my, my 1080 so that's going to have a lot to do with it but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second let's take this part take, take this thing apart i've never taken it apart before so we're going to take it apart there's a back plate on here right here we got to take this back plate off to access the rest of the card so we're going to do that uh, before i begin make sure you're hitting the thumbs up subscribe you guys are new all of that stuff and um there's a lot of you guys who are not yet subscribed to the channel so hopefully you guys can subscribe today this is not a tutorial on how to remove the cards and actually i think there's a screw right here yep so right here is the evga uh another warranty sticker and there's a screw that's right here so this is going to avoid the warranty right here um, but this is not a tutorial on how to do it but i'm just i'm going to go ahead and take this apart and we're going to take a look at it so i'll be right back after i take this thing apart all right and we're back so now i have the graphics card taken apart a couple things to note here on the back, so this uh, this one has a backplate. I don't know if yours has a backplate or not. I know on, I think, the original models, they might not have a backplate. So you have the chips that's here on the backplate. You have a thermal pad that, uh, that sits onto it. And honestly, the thermal pad does a pretty decent enough job. So that's not the problem. But we did find the issue as to why it's heating up as much as it as it is so the thermal pads are fine thermal pads are not a big deal they uh the way that they put it on the thermal pads and all that it's it's not it's not bad so like the thermal pads are thick enough and and all that so right here is the uh this is the board so you got the thermal pads that run along these chips over here i can't see where i'm pointing these chips over here and you can see it on the cooler So the thermal pads are, are nice and thick. They're still fresh. 
you know, not a big deal. Uh, and same thing along the lines of this thermal pad that's right here. Uh, but the problem that we got, or the problem that I see, is on the main, on the chip itself right here in the middle, the thermal paste is like non-existent. Um, the, I, I'm not even kidding, right? So like you can clearly see that there's barely any thermal paste on here at all. Okay. And yes, I know I took it apart, but honestly, when I'm looking at it and I look at the paste that's on the, on the, uh, on the copper plate, honestly, there should be more. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean that. I'm going to clean the thermal paste. I'm going to reapply it. I have, uh, some actual cooler thermal paste, uh, that's a little bit more high performance. Um, I'm going to clean some of the dust off of here. It's not, it's not that bad. It actually doesn't have a lot of dust on it. I've only had the card for a couple months. Um, also the, um, this part right here that I thought was a warranty. Uh, this is just a tamper proof. It's not, it's not a void your warranty. Uh, void your warranty is this right here. So we're good. I still have my warranty on it, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to reapply thermals on this. Um, and then we're going to run it and see if it makes any difference. Okay, so I went ahead and I put new thermal paste on there. Uh, for me, I run through the uh, the Gamer Nexus um, code when it comes to thermal paste. You can never have enough thermal paste. So I went ahead, reapplied everything. We are going to put it back together and check out the temps. All right, so I have it mining on Kapow, so Ravencoin right now. And doing so with the fan speed 100%, it, uh, it lowers the temps at 100%. So I'm comparing 100%, 100%. Uh, so before I did the thermals on it, running the fan speed at 100% with the same overclock settings that I have right now. So 75 for the power limit, uh, core clock 125, memory clock 1400. It's... Uh, before it was running at 62 C now it's running anywhere. It, so it's going back and forth between 54 and 55 C at a hundred percent fan speed. So we were able to drop it about seven C that's not bad. But the thing is, again, that's a hundred for hundred percent fan speed. So if we lower this, my my thing, I'm comfortable around 60 to 65C. I would prefer it not to go that high. But let's go ahead. Let's lower the fan speed to 65. I want to see how hot the card actually gets at 65% fan speed. I'm going to let it run like that, and we'll be right back. All right, so at 65% fan speed, temps stay at 65% or 65C. I mean, again, that's in my comfort limit, but I would prefer not to be that high up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn it up to 75% and see how much it drops down, if any. Okay, so 75%, 62C. That's not bad. So then that means that 85%, we should see under 60. Right? All things considered. Now, again, that's within my uh, acceptable margin. Um, again, I'd rather keep it under 60. And I'd like to close the case on my PC. That's another thing, too. So that's, that's really what I'm trying to do is being able to close my PC case and, uh, and keep it mining at the same time. You know, like I've already routed my... Uh, my power cables and all of that so that way that I can I can close my PC case but yeah I just the card gets too hot we're going to talk about that after all this is done I'm going to shut everything down take the card out and we're going to talk about the card because to me the card has a lot of issues uh just as a whole um besides the fact that it is an LHR card but I mean it has a lot of design flaws in my opinion but we'll take a look at that in just a moment here. Um, it looks like we're going under 50, under 60C. I don't think it's going to go more than 58. 
I, I think it's going to stay around 58, 59, uh, which is okay, I guess. I mean, I, I, the whole pro, the whole point was I, I didn't want to run the fan speed at 100%, but 85% is pretty damn close to 100%. You get what I'm saying? So I'll be right back. All right, so now that we're done, we did all of that. Let's talk about this thing. All right, this this card, it's not an efficient card at all. When it comes to thermals, when it comes to mining, gaming is fine. It's perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. It's perfect for gaming. Like, beautiful card for gaming. Honestly, I haven't found a, a, uh, I haven't found a game yet that... I can't run this game or this uh this card you know max settings for the game. I haven't found a game yet. I haven't played Cyberpunk on this. I don't have it on PC. But anyways, the the thermals on this we we did get it cooler. Okay? At the end of the day we did get it cooler, right? So running the fan speed 100% just like we ran it 100%, uh we were able to drop it 7C. Right, so we got it down from 62C to 55. That's good. That's that's a win. I'll take that. But here's the thing. To get it under 60C, I need to run it at 85%. So if I'm going to run the fan speeds at 85%, I might as well run them at 100%. Uh, especially once I close the case, because then when I close the case, then we're talking now it's going to get hotter because it's in a confined area. Why is that though? Why is this card so inefficient when it comes to cooling? There's a lot to do with the cooler itself. The cooler itself is only the size of the PCB, right? So it's only the size of the board. So you see right here, this is the cooler. This is the board. It's very, very inefficient at distributing the heat. And so because the cooler is not efficient it doesn't cool it, or it doesn't cool as efficiently as say this 1080 does uh the thing is look at this right so look at the 1080 this this 1080 has a massive size cooler compared to the 3060 right and then that's not even you guys are probably like oh but that's because it's a 1080 my 1066 gig is the same size as a 1080 it uses the same cooler the exact same cooler that it uses the the thing is that because it's a larger cooler it distributes the heat better right so it distributes the heat better the fans are spread apart and so because the fans are spread apart it's able to cool better it's able to push that hot air better the uh it the thing is if i could put this card if i could put this pcb onto a better cooler such as like this right so if i can take this slap this onto this cooler uh, it'd be so much better unfortunately i can't do that you know it's not it it won't match up so it's not like i can just replace it right and that's unfortunate that is very unfortunate um i i this is an evga design flaw like there are other 3060s that are larger than this um but as we as we get more or further and further into the lifespan of the 3060 these cards are just going to get smaller and smaller that's always what happens right eventually we're going to get a one fan i think we already have one fan 3060s out there already so that's just the nature of the beast that's just what happens but if you guys are interested not sponsored whatever but i'll leave an, uh, an amazon affiliate link down below if you want to grab some thermal paste to do your cards and all that, uh, again, this is the thermal paste that I use. It's a high performance Corsair thermal paste. So I'll leave a, an affiliate link down below for you guys if you want. It would help out the channel even just a little bit. Um, so I need to take apart the 1080 next and the 2070. I got to redo the thermals on those. Uh, actually, the thermals not so much on this one. The thermals are really good on this one, but the the card needs to be cleaned it's really it's really dirty it's really dusty grimy i don't know if you can see it right there like it's grown some hair more than me um so yeah i gotta 
I definitely got to do the thermals on the 1080 or the 1080 on the 2070 though because that card runs a little hot for the freaking monster of a size it is and the size of the cooler that's on that so i gotta redo that for sure but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video today i appreciate it i know um this isn't a typical mining video but it's all related right so thank you guys so much for watching appreciate it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see all you guys in the next video everybody happy mining